Marcos, tell me, what do you think about bringing no food backpacking? I think it's a fucking dumb idea. <laughs> so what kind of food are you bringing backpacking, Marcos? I got a monster bag of trail mix, a bunch of beef jerky, dried fruit, dried salami, cheese, crackers, 12 pack, tomate, <laughs> <laughs> Two flasks of whiskey, good stuff like Snicker bars and shit like that. Shit, you're bringing Snickers bars? A couple of them, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to watch him eat all this shit. Fuck yeah. We'll hit stop. We'll take a second, maybe everybody's learning to breathe. You find it in the one drop. Do I go into my drone and get honey out of this little hole? Sounds like a bad idea. Come on, boo boo. <laughs> Maybe on the way back. We'll see how hungry I get. I got some food. I don't even know what kind of snake this is, but I know snakes are edible. Man. Dinner, night number one. One small snake. <laughs> um, I have noticed that you can eat this snake, the bones and everything, if you chew it real good. So that's my tactic to maximize my, uh, I don't know, whatever I'm getting out of this thing, I want to get as much as possible. I'm literally surrounded by quail. I can hear them everywhere. This happened yesterday and this morning. Yeah, there's a bunny right there. Oh, snap. I think I'm gonna have to try and eat these intestines and the stomach and all that stuff after I rinse them out real good. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna get any more food today and I need to maximize what I got. I was just cleaning these rabbit intestines. And there's this thing in here that looks very curiously like a tapeworm to me. And these are the rabbit balls. I know that you can eat these, right? Because people eat Rocky Mountain oysters. Mmm, it's good. It's very creamy. Breakfast, day two. Oh, that's really good, dude. It's bet it's better than your stupid trail mix. For dinner tonight, I've found these thistles, which supposedly are edible even though they're covered with spikes, which seems to be a trend here. Things covered with spikes are hiding something. Food.
That's dinner. Thistles and rabbit broth. Mm. Oh, that's very good. It's uh, tender with a slight artichoke flavor. It is time to complete my fish spear. Um, I really don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try anyways. So I've got a strip of maple that's about five and a half feet long. Here's my nails that I filed down, and you can see I took the hacksaw and hacked them to make barbs. I figure if I saw a groove with a Leatherman in a circle around here, then the head of the nail will sit in there and it'll walk it onto my spear. Ooga, ooga, booga. What do you think? Would that take down a fish? Totally. If you hit it. Yeah, you just gotta hit that fish and it goes really fast. And at least the ones down there. Yeah, they're really fast, really shy, and, and, and really <laughs> small. <laughs> I've found yet another use for the bandana. You're gonna need two to make your own loin cloth. Also, you'll need some cord. Tie this around your waist. It's time to go spear fishing. is about a foot long trout just tempting me. I want trout so bad, but I suck at fishing so bad. I'm going to attempt to go fishing. So, let's see if I can get some. 